Skywatch Media News for June the 4th, 2020. In recent weeks, meteors and asteroid fragments of sufficient size have descended upon the Earth, surviving the initial entry into the atmosphere and then exploding above the surface of our planet. At times, these space rocks create enough energy during their entry to produce a loud, thunderous, booming sound that reverberates across a region, startling its residents. Last month, a loud sonic boom traveled across Seattle's Puget Sound after a meteor had exploded in broad daylight. The event over Seattle was dubbed as the Quarantine Boom of 2020. Events such as these are happening all too often these days. Meteoroids are most often associated with objects in space that originate from asteroids or comets. And so far this year, the presence of comets and nearby asteroids has been quite prevalent. Meteoroids vary in size some being as small as a grain of sand, while others can be large enough to create an airburst that has the potential to severely affect ground structures. A few have actually impacted the Earth as meteorites. About a week ago, on May the 27th, residents along the Armenian-Turkish border witnessed a spectacular ball of light in the sky. The fireball experience was visible across several Turkish provinces at around 8.30 p.m. local time. The video was recorded on closed caption cameras from the two provinces that are highlighted here. The meteor entry from a high altitude was filmed from multiple angles just prior to eyewitness accounts of the object crashing to Earth. The meteor impact can be seen exploding during its descent and moments before bursting apart in the air with a tremendous boom. According to Armenia's Meteorological Monitoring Service, the object was a large meteorite. An Armenian public radio described it as a large object flashing across the sky. The ball of light was reported by multiple witnesses. Turkey's meteorite tracking facility conducted an assessment of the incident, indicating that the object most likely crashed into the sea. As for the nature of the explosive event, it is under investigation by NASA, although the agency never issued a warning about the incoming object. Therefore, its entry into the atmosphere came as a complete surprise to Turkish and Armenian residents. Earth is continuously being bombarded by space rocks of various sizes. Millions of meteor or asteroid fragments enter the Earth's atmosphere every day, but most of them disintegrate without their presence being known. This year has seen a number of larger rocks being spotted, usually in the form of bolids or spectacular fireballs, similar to the one that lit up Turkey. The data shown here indicates that since the year 1988, there has been 822 bolid events. That averages out to roughly 25 random events per year across the globe, this dating back to 32 years. Fortunately, most of these rocks exploded over water or in areas that are sparsely populated. The mechanism involved in the large number of meteor or asteroid explosions is still unclear 
which seems a bit odd, even though some experts have suspected that the thickness of the atmosphere may be a contributing factor. The theory is that the air pressure in front of the space rock during its descent builds up and causes high-pressure air to seep through the pores and cracks in the object, thus increasing the object's interior pressure, causing the object to explode in the upper atmosphere. The recent meteoroid explosion above Turkey and subsequent impact is not the first time that a significant meteorite event has taken place in the country. Back on September 2nd of the year 2015, a rock fragment from a passing asteroid fell in eastern Turkey. A security camera captured the space rock's immense shadow during its entry, which was observed from a number of cities across the country. According to NASA, the bolid-type object that lit up the Turkish sky in 2015 had a diameter of about 20 inches, exploding at an altitude of about 25 miles. Although the space rock was considered quite small in astronomical measurements, eyewitnesses described its entry as casting a powerful light beam, turning night into day. Shortly thereafter, the sound of pellets was heard hitting roofs. The next morning, residents saw rock fragments scattered across the village of Sarachichek. In all, there were some 200 rock fragments that were collected in the week following the meteorite event. Confirmation of the nature of the explosive event that lit up the sky over northern Turkey on May 27th has yet to be determined by the International Meteor Organization. Although the object is said to have crashed into the sea, according to some eyewitnesses, its trajectory appears to fit the profile of a meteor a meteorite type event. Over the years, there have been many unusual cloud formations that have appeared in our sky. Some of them are considered as a rarity, and quite frankly, they become head-scratchers for meteorologists when they appear. On May 29th, a strange and unexplained phenomenon took place in the sky over Wisconsin. The image clearly shows what appears to be an inverted funnel cloud. Several images were sent to a TV station located in western Wisconsin. Meteorologists were baffled by the capture and uncertain as to what caused the formation. It does appear to be legitimate since multiple views of the formation were taken. There were several storms in the area at the time of the capture, but this appears to be an anomaly where we can expect the unexpected. As I look to the heavens, I am reminded of my childhood fascination with the night sky. It seems that in all of my time on this planet, I have drawn near to its infinite continuity. Even in times of despair, when everything around me seemed to be falling apart, the sky in all of its splendor would still be there for me. It is from the sky where one finds their place in the midst of it all. Thanks for watching.